says he asks and receives yes. not because you ask amiss that ye may bless the Lord. Hallelujah. When you ask, you ask amiss mm -hmm, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Wasn't all of it. Ah, ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Come on, Pastor. I want to talk about just for a few moments, if you'll allow me, kingdom snipers. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Kingdom yes. snipers. Now, last week we talked about hijackers. Uh -huh. This week we're talking about snipers. Yes, yes snipers. Now, a sniper is a qualified specialist who operates alone excuse me, are in a pair or with a sniper team for the sake of maintaining close visual contact yes, with the enemy. Yeah. Engaging in targets from concealed positions and engaging in distances exceeding the detection and capabilities of the enemy. Again, it's a specialist who can operate alone with a pair or with a team and their job is to get visual contact of the enemy, hallelujah, and they're hidden in concealed positions that the enemy does not even know that they're there. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. yeah. Glory to God. And that's just like us in the kingdom, that a lot of times the enemy does not even know that we found out where he's intruded. Yeah. <laughs> a sniper's job is to discriminatory, highly rifle fire against enemy targets. They are marksmen, a person who is skilled in shooting at a mark. Yeah, yeah I'm talking good. I'm moving here. They are force multipliers. In other words, through the use of special tactics, they can do damage of a much larger force. Yeah. Yeah. Snipers multiply the body of Christ's effectiveness because of their precision in which they hit the enemy's targets with their prayers. Snipers ensure that the battlefield survivor for the rest of the Lord's army uh, qualities that the sniper must include or uh, they must be patient. Snipers must be disciplined and they must be able to work alone. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. Snipers must be patient. Snipers must be disciplined and they must be able to work alone. Why? Yeah. Because a lot of times the enemy does not immediately show their hand. Yeah. If you've ever been engaged into any sniper movies or games, you would have to wait till the infiltrator is taking a break or they're smoking a cigarette or they're cleaning around thinking that they're going undetected. But the sniper is hidden usually up upon a building. Sometimes undetected and unnoticeable so that the enemy can't see them. Now listen to this. This is what got me shit. Then it says that the snipers are sharp shooters. They usually only use 1.3 bullets per enemy while other military officers use 50,000 bullets per enemy. Come on! Let's get I will say again, they are sharp shooters on average. If I can just make this number more realistic, one bullet per enemy. Where usually soldiers use over 50,000 bullets trying to hit their enemy. They have to have time and effectiveness. Snipers are able to do more with less. And I believe I'm talking to some individuals listening to me now that have been in the midst of Corona, that you're trying to figure out why did God isolate me? Why did he cut me down? Because he wanted to show you, you can do more with less. You don't need as much as you thought you needed. Some of us have learned how to pray more effectively in this season than we prayed in last season. Some of y'all just comfortable and been trying to figure out something to do every single day. But there's been a few of us that's been trying to press in a little bit more so that our effectiveness goes to another level. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. You have to learn how to be a sharp shooter. I'm almost finished. I'm moving through here. Now, this is what got me here. Finally, soldiers hit man-sized targets at 10% of the time. At 984 feet 
feet away while snipers hit the same target 90% of times at 1,968 feet away. I'm going to say it again. Yes, soldiers hit man-sized targets. If anybody's ever been to a shooting range, a 10% at 984 feet away. But snipers hit a man-sized target 90% of the time, 1,968 feet away. In other words, kingdom snipers are intercessors and they are extremely accurate. I'm moving expeditiously. I wish I had time to deal with it. Perhaps I'll preach it when everybody's back in the sanctuary. Because some of y'all have clicked off and gone to another church uh, and you're coming back and forth. But I want to tell you this intercessors are necessary. And God's put a demand on intercessors in this season. That's how come I have of this topic because that's what God is trying to do. He said, I know everybody else is trying to become the prophet and the evangelist and the apostle and everybody else is trying to become a mogul but God said, if you learn how to intercede, you'll become all the more accurate. Uh, let me tell you this, intercessors or snipers, they know who their enemy is and they're patient enough to wait until in hiding until they get a good shot to take him out immediately. That's good because I'm going to say it again. They know who their enemy is. Phil, don't you get it twisted. The same devil that wanted you last week is the same devil that wants you this week. Don't you get it twisted, Glad The same one that was chasing you two years ago is the same devil that still has his eyes on you. But the people of God, the intercessors, the sniper, for them to get a good shot to take them out. And I tell you this, Snipers don't want to hit a leg. Snipers don't want to hit a foot. They want to hit you in the head or they want to hit you in your heart to kill you immediately. And I want to tell you that God is looking for some kingdom snipers that says you've located the devil and you've located his jump of day and you get ready to take that jump out. Tell your neighbor, I can't let him live. I can't let him live. They say time because of their accuracy and their immediate Set. They don't have to go chasing any kind of prayers. Yeah. They don't pray like everybody else generally. They know exactly what to do, how to move in, and when to move in. They know what scriptures to use, how to use it, when to use it, when to put it out there and get up off of it. Uh, they multiply the advancing of the kingdom. So the bride is accelerated and being able to see their king. Look at your neighbor say, neighbor. Thank <laughs> you. 
that God's ready to open up your eyes that you can go to the next level. And I tell you what Psalms 144 says. It says in the first verse, it says, Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to more. Get 
Yeah. 